welcome back nail queens in today's youtube video i'm going to show you how i'm going to remove these press-on nails without causing damage to my nails or the press-ons so i'm going to be doing the soak off method using a bowl of heated up rice and a ziploc baggie where i will be mixing acetone and water so i was told that you can do a mixture like a 50 50 mixture of water and acetone and it will remove the press-ons without damaging them so i'm intrigued by this and i'm gonna give it a shot i am a little afraid to try a 50 percent mixture of acetone so i'm gonna start out with a couple drops and then work my way up to 50%. So I wanna see how little acetone I can get away with to do this method. So I'm gonna have time stamps so you can see how long this process is taking me. At 1.48 p.m. I started my soak off, and just so you know, it took me a total of 35 minutes to remove all of the press-ons. That's because I started out with less acetone and I worked my way up. But I'll be sure to show you guys all of the time stamps when I looked at my nails and tried to see if I could remove them, when I added more acetone, all of that, I'm gonna let you guys know as I go along. So about four minutes later, I wanted to check on the press-ons and see if it's really doing any work. And since I felt like it wasn't doing anything at all, I decided to add a few more drops of acetone into the bag and continue soaking. And throughout the video, you're gonna see me use different timestamps to show you when I put my hand back in the baggie versus when I took it out. So you can see how much time is going between having my hand in and out of the bag. So about four minutes later, I take my hand out of the bag and I'm going to use my this end of my cuticle pusher and just feel around the edges of the press-ons and see if anything is loosening up on a lot of the nails it is loosening up around the side walls but not as much around the cuticle area but it is very important that I don't use a tool to force it off so if I try to stick this all the way under my nail I think it would be very 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 painful so I'm definitely not trying to force them off I'm just trying to feel and see how much it has lifted up already which honestly is not a lot but a little bit on the sidewalls. I got better lifting on the sidewalls than I did the cuticle area. So I am going to put my hand back in the baggie and soak for a little while longer. So when I put my hand in the bag, it's 1.59 p.m. And then when I take my hand out of the bag, it is 2.03 p.m. And uh, my hands are feeling very, very pruney because there's more water than acetone in my bag. Usually when I soak in acetone, I don't get pruney hands but the water is contributing to this. So I'm going to add a little bit more acetone, so hopefully it will speed up the removal process and not make my hands so pruney. So around 2.04 p.m., I am sticking my hand in the bag, and then at 2.12, hey, one fell off. I decided to check on it, and this one fell off. I love that, that it just, hey, it's just like sayonara, bye. So I'm going to check the other ones, and I do feel like there is a lot more lifting going on now. I'm very happy with the progress this is making. Maybe I should have started at like 25% acetone instead of a couple drops, and this would have happened a lot faster. I don't know. So at 2.13 p.m., my hand is going in the bag, and I'll keep you updated when it comes out. So it's been about two minutes, I know, not a lot of time, but while I had my fingers in the bag, I was like tugging on them and I could feel that this one was coming very, very loose. So I'm gonna help it out a little bit here with my orange wood stick. I do prefer using orange wood sticks. They're much more gentle than those metal tools. Oh my goodness. So there you go. There goes another, yay. So I'm gonna put my hand back in my bag in just a second after I check all the edges on the rest of the nails and continue soaking off. And like I said before, had I done a 50-50 mixture right from the get-go, this probably wouldn't have taken as long, but I was really afraid that if I did the 50-50 mixture right off the bat, that it was gonna destroy my nails. So I didn't want that. But 216, not even a minute later, a third one came off, and I feel like I'm hitting that sweet spot of how much acetone is in my bag. So I definitely wanna give this a go another time by having more acetone in the bag. 219, 
the index finger came off. That thumb is really stuck on there. It does not want to go, but I am happy to say that there has not been damage to my press-ons. So 220, I'm putting my hand in the bag, actually just my thumb, so the others don't get pruny. And then three minutes later, the thumbnail came off. So I'm very, very happy about this. I know I said it took about 35 minutes in total, but that's because I was scaling up and adding more acetone as I went. But I am very happy to report that my press-ons are not damaged. I'm really, really happy about this. I was so, so afraid, but it worked. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and watching me trial and error of this. Hopefully it helped you guys if you were planning on soaking off your press-ons in acetone. Add some water and it won't destroy your press-ons. Hey, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.